I get the sense that my feedback is never well received by this person. They're referring to the, this, this individual and they more often than not reject it instead of receiving it as a learning opportunity, especially when it comes to quality and quality matters. Am I overthinking it? Am I being nitpicky? I did listen to your podcast about this and don't feel that I was. How do I balance giving them openness to challenge and letting them know that it's fee versus letting them know that it's feedback that must be implemented? This what do you think, Kim? is a great question and a difficult one. I think at at a, at a certain level, I have found kind of the way, one of the ways out of this conundrum is to say to the person, it seems like you disagree with my feedback and I'm wide open to you disagreeing with it. But since I'm your manager, what you need to do next is to persuade me that I am wrong and you are right. <laughs> And you haven't persuaded me yet that I am wrong and you are right. I still think that the quality bar that I have uh, that I have laid out is the right one. So tell me why I'm wrong. I think the, that phrase, tell me, please tell me why I'm wrong, is, is helpful in this kind of situation. I don't know, Jason, what do you think? Well, I, I, I completely agree. Like, I, I think the... I know this isn't an exact one-to-one, -one, but I often think of the, the sort of like new ideas are fragile.